All right, welcome on board the Dom Giordano program. Now, many days I don't wear the full suit to work, but I have a big event that I'm moderating later today with uh, Dick Morris on my panel, and I was just engaged in a huge fashion debate with a guy saying you can't have pants that have any kind of pleat in them. He'll be on with us on Friday, but if you have pleated pants on right now, you may want to check in. One of the things we always try to tell you every day is big issues, big guests is what we do, particularly if they are local. And this is a big one that has, dare I say, significance. It's one of the big chips in the game because it's a a place that's up for grabs due to an incumbent leaving. All right, drum roll, maestro, if you please, because we have a uh, exclusive... Big announcement here on the Dom Giordano program. Let's bring in a mystery guest and see what he's up to. Uh, mystery guest, welcome in. Please identify yourself. This is Ryan Costello, and I am proud on the Dom Giordano show to announce my campaign for the United States Congress for the Republican nomination, 6th Congressional District. Well done. Well done, uh, Ryan. And uh, certainly I'm very glad to hear this. This is uh, a big moment for you, and it's a big moment for us. I'm glad you came here first. Uh, Let's talk for a moment about that district. You've been a Chester County Commissioner for some time. Listeners may remember you joined us out in uh, Meadowbrook when we were talking about the land grab there, and you stood with those people. What do you standing up standing up for property rights? Um, Absolutely. What do you see the issue being or issues out there in the sixth congressional district? Well, you hit the nail on the head a little while ago just with the notion that limited government and fiscal conservatism, they're not bad words. And in fact, if you're going to resolve the pending insolvency of Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and the deficits that we're running up, then we have to be honest brokers when it comes to federal budgeting. And right now, that's not occurring. And well, you, know, you heard the caller. District, yeah. yeah, you heard the caller, Ryan, say, but but that's uh, uh, we're nuts. We're outside the mainstream. Well, I think, and I listen to your show, and frankly, I was just talking to a few people last night that that are um, listeners of your show, and the bottom line is, I feel that this country is ready to start embracing reality and making tough decisions. And what you're seeing, particularly out of the the House of Representatives on the Democratic side, and the president who decides that when Congress won't quote-unquote work with him, in other words, do exactly what he wants, which is bigger government, more regulation, and more taxes, then he's just going to try and issue executive orders for the time being. I don't think that's right. I think that there is some common ground to be found, uh, and that's why I'm running. I mean, I, I I embrace the values of Chester, Montgomery, Burks, and Lebanon. This is where I was born and raised. And uh, you said you like to bring local news on the show. Well, I'm a local guy. I believe that our communities around here are something special, and I want to protect them and represent them. Now, would you say, uh, with Jim Gerlach, I think we both agree, did a fine job there. Do you see politically that you're in the Gerlach mode, or are you more conservative if you had to, to make a statement about that, your, your record versus his? Well, of course, as a county commissioner, I deal with entirely different issues right. than he does. I will say this. The diligence that he demonstrated in being there, he was always out there. He understood the district very, very well, and it is diverse. It's a massive West, district, yeah. Yeah, Lebanon County, Northern Berks, Western Montgomery, oh. and uh, the, the northern half of Chester County. So there, there, are some, there are some similarities in terms of how I – look to public service and frankly in a, in many respects he was trying to do he was trying to do the right thing at all times and it gets very very frustrating you had a gentleman on a little while ago about you know rhinos versus big tent and i get frustrated with uh sometimes the way i see certain republicans vote on this or that but the bottom line is when we're looking big picture the and charting a path for this country historically over the over generations to come i believe the republican party is on the right side of the issue particularly when you look at paul ryan and many of the meaningful reforms that he's trying to make and he's trying to do them in a bipartisan fashion so somewhere in there is where ryan costello fits and i'm proud to be there good stuff Uh, ryan now is there a website where people can go have you got that up and running right now and dom i just invited you to ryan costello for u.s congress on facebook that's going to be my portal for the next uh, month or so while I get a 
a formal website up and running. Uh, that's the place where people can reach out to me. And, of course, um, I'm always making sure I see what's on Facebook with Dom Giordano because you have a lot of interesting posts. You have fun on the show, too. I like that. Well, thank you, Ryan. It's mutual. We had a great time when we met you in Meadowbrook. I'm thrilled that this has happened. Uh, we like Jim Gerlach, but, you know, he did his time. It's a, a grueling type of uh, job, and we're thrilled that you have the chance to jump in there. When is the uh, the primary then would be, what, in Mayish? Yeah. That's correct. Uh, petitions, which I'll be circulating, start about a month from now. So, in fact, I'm going to be in Northern Berks tonight, I think. Uh, so I'm going to be stretching all over this district now. People need to know I'm committed to doing this and that I'm going to win this seat and that when I go to Washington, D.C., I'm bringing the local values that people call your show up talking about. I'm taking those local values down there, and then obviously when I come home, uh, I'm going to leave the D.C. nonsense in D.C., and I'm going to help. I'm going I'm to do my best to try and reform it. It, it, it takes a lot of people to do that, uh, and I want to be one of them, doing Would the right thing. Give that Facebook, please, again, Ryan Costell, where people can reach you right now and like you and support you and figure out how we're going to make this happen. Ryan Costello for U.S. Congress on Facebook. Very nice, Ryan. Thank you very much, Ryan. Thanks for honoring us by coming on here first. You bet. Wouldn't have it any other way. Thanks. All right, Ryan Costello with us here on the Dom Giordano program. And again, we pride ourselves on that by being out there, boots on the ground. You know, I had seen his name before as Chester County Commissioner, but not often would it be a talk radio thing. It's You get out there enough, these things happen that we're in that orbit. And I have high hopes for what he'll do. Uh, no knock on Jim Gerlach, who has served well. And I'd love to get your reaction to what Ryan Costello, Costello said. Now, it's a bit murkier. Over in the Runyon seat, we're waiting to see what the Burlington County and Ocean County people who they come up with. You know my trepidation. Some of them, some of the names that were out there are rhinos. And I don't think that's what we need. We don't need extremists. But are extremist people talking about the debt? Talking about what it means to our kids? Is that an extreme position? 855-839-1210. You can get him right now. AT&T and Verizon Wireless push pound 1210. All right, I want to tell you a story that um, a story that um, a ma- 